Hi, and welcome back to CFOP Cubing. Today I'm going to teach you two look PLL. Two look PLL is a step up from beginner PLL, but if you do not know beginner PLL, that's okay. You can still learn two look PLL. The only reason to learn beginner PLL is if you want something easier to start with while you learn two look OLL. I have a video on beginner PLL and beginner OLL if you want to learn it. Links are in the description. Two look PLL is just like two look OLL. Instead of doing a lot of algorithms with beginner PLL, all you have to do is two. If you want to speed solve the Rubik's Cube, you should definitely learn two look PLL. Ideally, you would learn full PLL in the future, but two look PLL is a good thing to start with. The first of the two algorithms solve the corners. The second algorithm solves the edges. There are two algorithms you need to know for the corners and four algorithms you need to know for the edges. So that is six algorithms you need to know in total. You only need to learn four more if you already know beginner PLL because two of the algorithms are used in beginner PLL. So let's get into the algorithms. Let's start by learning the two algorithms to solve the corners. They're called T perm and Y perm. If there's one set of headlights like this, the headlights are just the corner colors, like this. If they are the same color, then they are headlights. And if there's one set of headlights, you're going to put that on the left and you're going to do T perm. You might already know this algorithm from beginner PLL, but if you don't, this is it. If you look around and there is no set of headlights at all, then you can just do Y perm from any angle. The only other case you can get is when there are four sets of headlights. If that is the case for you, then you've already solved the corners. Now let's solve the edges. There are four algorithms you need to learn, but one you will already know if you learned beginner PLL. The algorithms are UA perm, UB perm, Z perm, and H perm. Let's start with UA perm. You do one of the U-perms if there's a bar that is solved on one of the sides. You put that in the back, and you're going to look to the right. If the center color right here is opposite of the two side pieces over here, then you're going to do a U-A-perm. If it's totally different, then you're going to do a U-B-perm. Here we can see it's opposite, because blue is opposite of green, you can just check. So you're going to do a U-A-perm. Here, when we look to the right, when we put the bar in the back, we can see that the center color is just completely different than the side colors like this. So in this case, we're gonna have to do a UB perm. Z perm and H perm don't have a solved bar. H perm switches the edges across from each other. So on every side, this color in the center is going to be opposite to the color on the outsides. You can do this from any angle. Z perm is a little different. It switches the edges adjacently. You can hold it so that the bottom and right edges switch, 
and the top and left edges switch. And that's it. Once you learn those algorithms, you will know Tulip Peel All. It's not that hard and I would definitely recommend you learn it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. See you next time.